Hello everybody, this is Derek. It is the uh, 2nd of November, 2009. It is uh, 1.20 p.m. Eastern Time and we're starting to see a lot of similarities with the 2008 stock market uh, movements. These movements have high volume, very volatile, and uh, yeah, high volume and very volatile, and the path of least resistance being lower. Since March, it's been higher and the volume we've had thus far, and it's just a little over one, is already at the levels that we were having for the summer. That's pretty interesting to know when you still got the two to four o'clock crowd that really brings in high volume. SPY is even, or the S&P, the NASDAQ, is pretty much around the break even mark. And uh, the dollar is down one third of a percent, and the movements have been in direct, like normal, with each other. Stock markets gapping higher, going higher, topping, then going lower. The dollar gapping lower, selling off, and then bottoming, going higher. That means that uh, there must be money put from other places. We're seeing the metals still up about a percent right now. Same type of movement as stocks, gapping higher and proceeding higher, then following that uh, selling off. Oil, same type of method, hasn't done as well, but still positive. Bonds is also uh, showing the similar signs of the dollar as it got lower, sold off, and then started to rally again, down about 0.4%. The financials have been bringing it down. These were the, these guys were the leading sector that got us down in 2007 and 8. We've seen XLF from the 22, 24 range in 2008, crack below 17, and then even go down to 6 in March. As they were hit pretty hard. So now if they've got up to 15 and a half or so, What's the lowest they could go to? If they could go from 22 to 6, could you not go from 15 to 4 or 15 to 5? To me, it seems very possible. And a lot of the put plays for it show amazing prices. I haven't seen them recently. I'm sure they would not be as nice as they were when they were higher, but still looking decent. When you're looking like 6, 9 months away, and a strike price is under $10 because they were selling for pennies. Meaning if you were to put a strike price at $9 and it goes down to five, now you got a stock value that's worth about $4 a share. You paid about 40 cents a share. But then again, you're playing a game priced in dollars. That's not uh, too enthusiastic as far as I am too concerned. So I'm looking at it. The nominal numbers look great, but you're betting against the system that you are putting your funds with too. So it's very difficult to say if that's a, a great play or not. But nonetheless, uh, it seems as if we may be having a change. The transportation index is making new lows, selling off really really big and they can be a leading indicator for the direction of the stock market uh, thank you for watching peace out everyone